What is up? As you can see, the car is up kind of in the air on jack stands, and my friend Corey's here. Um, he actually is from Draven Performance here locally, and I reached out to him for some help with my brakes because I did my brake pads myself recently and they are squeaking. And I've tried looking at them and I have no idea. So, Corey's a bit more experienced than me, and he's gonna take a look and do like kind of an official brake servicing. So I figured we'd do a quick video on that and uh, show you guys what that's about. All right, so this common misconception usually with a uh, brake squeal that people think their brakes are like worn out prematurely, but to be honest, most people don't do brake services. They just slap their brakes on and they just, they run. Mm -hmm. And if you actually service your brakes, you won't run into this squealing issue and your brakes will usually last like a lot longer. So it's pretty much the, uh, I, I, I kind of suspect, I already know what's going on. <laughs> I kind of skipped over maybe a few little things. <laughs> it's really important not to let the brake caliper hang from the rubber line because you could damage it internally. Basically, when you when you push your brake brake pedal, it compresses these two pistons, and these brake pads slide basically in these channels. And usually, what the case is is that these channels lose like lubrication and essentially they're riding on just metal on metal so you'll get this yeah the sound so every time you release your brake pedal or press it this brake pad moves slightly and creates this noise yeah I'm just doing that <laughs> another cause could be um, usually excessive brake pad glazing so sometimes the brake pad surface is uneven and uh, is not riding on the rotor perfectly flush so you usually just resurface this with some, some uh, coarse grit sandpaper on a flat surface and uh, you're usually good to go. All right, so I'll start off with uh, taking off these shims. Usually um, some rust will build up underneath and on top of the shim, um, kind of creating micro vibrations as well. So it's good to uh, remove these to do the proper uh, cleaning. Just take them right off. You can see underneath it's pretty dirty. There's some uh, uneven rest build up here. Same thing for the top one. Not as, usually not as much on the top because water runs down and will sit in these channels. So it's best to find a, you know, a kit that works for you. Uh, this is kind of my own kit that I've found works for me. I usually like to have a bigger coarse brush, pretty worn out as you can see, and a small one for getting into the, the small areas. This is the uh, 40 grit sandpaper I'll be using to resurface the, the glazing and we'll slap everything back together with uh, some ceramic brake lube and then cleaning everything along the way with a uh, brake cleaner. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward, you just want to try to get these relatively clean. I, I like to spray some brake cleaner on them first to get the dirt and rust loosened up. You kind of just bring it back to your cloth. So this is, this is what we started with, this is kind of your end goal, you're not going to get everything off, like some of it's pretty uh, caked on, some of it's actually some of the old paint, but uh, you can see rust is gone and then we're going to lubricate top and bottom before we put it back in as well with some, some ceramic brake lube. So it's always a good idea to give all this is scrub too. I mean, it doesn't really rust up as long as you're not living in a super uh, humid climates. Um, but uh, out here, it's pretty dry. But still, go in there and give that a good brushing like that. So there's our still dirty one. Here's our clean, nicely lubricated one. I've showed you how to do that. We'll move on to the uh, to the pad part of it. So, pads also have shims, anti-squeal shims. They come off in layers, in between each layer, and add lubricant between each layer.
can tell this pad's from the front because you can see the shape of the caliper on it, and these two have the uh, piston marks. You don't need to put too much on the outside, just whatever's gonna make contact with the pad. So essentially like a, an, an, e, an E shape. Okay, so another part to mention is uh, these, they call them ears of the brake pad. They sit inside the uh, brake caliper bracket and those are the pieces that are, this is the piece that slides basically in and out of that channel. So you, it's really important to make sure this is rust free and uh, lubricated again. So always just, and sometimes you, like the rust isn't coming away with just a brush, so it's good to have a metal file on hand to uh, remove that. It's important not to take away too much material. See, shiny again. Safety first. The one he says. Next thing we're doing is actually going to involve a bit more brake dust. So we got the masks on because you don't want to inhale this stuff. So, as we talked about earlier, brake pads are usually always really glazed. So it's important to do it on a flat surface. Uniform back and forth motion, just like that. You can see there's still certain areas that are shining with the light, and most of it's already gone. There we go, fully refinished. Nice. Here's a little before and after for you. Some brake dust will build up here. There's a pile of it right there. All right, so this one's cleaned, lubricated on both sides. I'm gonna pop it back in. Just like that. It's better to use two fingers on both sides. Push it down. And always rotate the rotor to see if you got any lubrication on the on the rotor in the process. Yep. There you go. Put me on with this one. Popping it back in too. Same way. Again, rotate the rotor. Ah, no lube this time. Putting this one back in. Here we go. So uh, your your actual caliper slides in and out of the caliper bracket with the assistance of these slider pins. So it's always important to wipe these and Relubricate. You don't use the same lubrication as you would on your brake pads. This stuff is meant for slide pins specifically. So you just slide this one back in your top. Squeeze your brake pads together. Lower this back down. Install your bolt and you're good to go. Alright, and the brake is back on. It's all serviced. It should be good to go now. Fingers crossed, all my uh, squeaking should be gone. We've got to do the rest of the car still, but Corey made the process look simple. Probably it would have taken me a lot longer, but um, basically, same process and repeat on all four corners of your car. And uh, yeah, that's uh, brake servicing done by Corey here with Draven Performance. Appreciate. The help man, thank you for coming and helping anytime. me do this. <laughs> yeah, it's really anytime. I'll have a link down Five below uh, to their website and Instagram if you want to check them out. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below.